What's up guys and welcome to the next weekly ramble video. Uh, as you can see, we're trying different setups again. Um, first thing I actually want to talk about is the setup behind me. The setup. It's the start of a setup. Uh, obviously I've got a couple sealed decks that I bought just for the fun of it. Uh, I think I'm going to start collecting some just like sealed products. I don't know if it's all going to be like theme deck stuff or anything like that, but I do really like the theme decks for whatever reason. Uh, and so I'll probably end up getting a lot of those and applying them to the bookshelf behind me as sort of a backdrop just to give these a little bit more context i guess uh but yeah that's pretty exciting i like the fact that i can just end up with a bunch of theme decks and little fun things uh they also do serve a purpose later on down the road uh if we decide we want to do like a versus video with some th old school theme decks like these are seventh edition uh so being able to pull those out just for a random video would be kind of fun uh, and so if we get a group together, maybe we can play with all of them, but we'll, we'll figure stuff out to do with them at some point. But yeah, this will probably be more of the normal backdrop, uh, as I go along with some minor adjustments, uh, of course. So, uh, yeah, fun stuff there. Obviously the big topic right now is still Guilds of Ravnica. Uh, we did our part two of spoiler season, uh, on the podcast episode just yesterday, in fact. Uh, we actually talked about a deck list, too, that we are both very excited about. Both Will and I are really excited about. Uh, it's like a bug mid-range deck. Uh, very, very cool, very graveyard-based, and very, very good at digging through uh, the deck. So really excited to actually see if that comes to fruition. Obviously, we've got a lot more spoilers to go, uh, so we're hoping that we'll get a little bit more tech for it. Uh, but even still, we have a basic outline for it that we talk about on the podcast episode. Um, the spoilers that we've gotten uh, are awesome. I am so stoked. Uh, so I've said before, I kind of view this as like the Guilds of Ravnica set in particular needs to be sort of in between where Return to Ravnica was and the original Ravnica. Uh, OG was amazing, but there's no way they're going to top that. There's just too much nostalgia there, uh, I think, for them to actually be able to pull that off. Uh, and it was just an awesome set, obviously. Uh, Return to Ravnica was not a bad set. I enjoyed it quite a lot, actually. Dragon's Maze obviously was terrible, but R to R was really good, I thought. Uh, it was very fun to draft. Um, still some value in it. Not a ton, but there's obviously Shocklands and things like that. Uh, Sphinx's Revelation, Supreme Verdict, uh, Deathrite Shaman, though it was banned. Uh, there's still some value there. Uh, and so my hope is that they can sort of land on the in-between with Guilds of Ravnica, and so far it seems like they're doing a pretty good job. Uh, there's a lot of really powerful cards in the set uh, already, and we're only, like, what, maybe two weeks in? Uh, there's still a lot to go, so I'm hoping that we get a few more just, like, heavy hitter kind of cards. Uh, I'm still hoping for some specific reprints, but I'm not going to talk about that in this. Uh, but yeah, that, that's sort of where we're at with it. Uh, Will and I are both pretty excited about it. Everybody that I've talked to is pretty excited about it. Uh, I haven't seen very many negative comments. Uh, maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, I don't know, and by all means, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but so far, I've, I've only heard good things. It does look great, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about it. Obviously, we'll keep you updated as uh, more spoilers come out. Uh, we'll also probably update you on that deck list as we hopefully get a few more tech cards for it. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're pretty excited about it. So uh, coming up, obviously, the plan is to do probably a giveaway centered around Guilds of Ravnica uh, for the next one because it will be sort of on that turnover. Uh, there's also, um, we, we didn't actually do this with Core 2019. Uh, we kind of missed the boat a little bit because out of town for conferences and things like that. But uh, we do want to have our normal sort of like we actually get to play test a sort of it's not technically sealed. We get basically each half a box and we kind of uh, build decks and sort of figure out strategies and just sort of give you, give ourselves the best option to flesh out whatever strategies we want to and play out a few games with it. So uh, we'll do that this time. That's the plan at least. Uh, obviously this is a pretty awesome set so we want to make sure that we get some time to play it. Uh, something that people don't realize, uh, maybe, I don't know if you do or not, but uh, with all the time that we spend doing videos and obviously full-time jobs, life outside of this, uh, we don't get to play Magic very much. It kind of sucks sometimes. Uh, not to like, you know, blather on about it or anything, but um, when you're making videos most of the time in your off time and then you have a full-time job, uh, you have other obligations that you have to take care of, like 
playing Magic becomes something that you don't get to do very often. So when we do get to, it's exciting. It's really, really fun. Uh, and so I'm excited to actually sit down and play with this new set and have a chance to, to see how it functions uh, and how the, the archetypes actually play out. Pretty excited about it. So that's kind of where we're at with that. Uh, something else that I did want to talk about, we did a mock draft of 2019 uh, on a podcast episode. I think it might have even been, what, like two or three weeks ago? Uh, and it wasn't well prepared uh, on our end. We should have screen captured it. We should have done a lot of different things. Uh, the plan is in the future we might actually set up a few more of these mock drafts if you guys enjoy them. Uh, they're fun for us, and it's like relatively, I mean, we don't have to plan anything. We just get to sit down and mock draft. Uh, so they're not throwaway episodes by any means, but it's a little bit easier on the prep end uh, to be able to do those. And so. Uh, on a week maybe where we just don't get as much time to do our research for whatever the, the actual topic was going to be, uh, we may throw in a couple mock drafts every once in a while. Uh, by no means is it going to be like uh, all the time, you know, that's going to become the podcast. We don't want that. But uh, it's something that we actually really enjoyed. Kind of, it was an on the whim kind of thing, but we really enjoyed it. And so we're thinking about doing that a little bit more, but we do want to know about your opinion on that. Obviously, um, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, which obviously you guys are right now, uh, it's a little bit easier to get the message across because we can actually screen cap everything and like give you an actual visual, which again, we didn't do in the first one, but we do have plans to in the next. Um, but if you're listening on like the podcast app, for instance, which uh, if you don't listen on the podcast app, I guess you're welcome to. Uh, we are in the podcast app. But uh if, if you watch there, obviously it's a little bit more difficult to actually go through the entire pack and explain what we're seeing and all that. Uh, so we kind of just have to pick out the best cards and talk about those. Um, so the, the worry for us is that it doesn't translate quite as well audio only, uh, but we do think video wise, it makes sense. It's a fun thing to do. It's easy on our end uh, to actually set up uh, and hopefully it gives you guys insight into draft perspective. Uh, which is not something that we touch on too much. Every once in a while we kind of talk about drafting, but it's not the biggest thing in the world. So things to think about there. Uh, just let us know what your thoughts are on doing stuff like that, because obviously this is for you. We want you guys to enjoy it. So that's the plan there. Um, two things that are not necessarily magic related. Uh, first of all, I may be uh, unable to do a weekly ramble next week. Uh, I was actually supposed to be out of town uh this i'm supposed to be leaving this saturday through thursday uh, i was supposed to be getting back on thursday um i may or may not have time to record that thursday i don't know but uh as some of you guys know we we are on the east coast and hurricane florence is coming in hot so uh i don't know uh if i will actually be leaving town or not yet if i'm not i will definitely have a video up uh if i do i will still do my best to have a video up but i can't guarantee it uh, we also need to go ahead and pre-record a podcast episode, which will probably be a mock draft, uh, if I had to guess. And that's only because we want to talk about spoilers, but obviously if we're going to have to pre-record it by a few days, we're going to miss a lot of them. Uh, and so, so it just kind of makes sense at this point to kind of break it up maybe and come back to Guilds of Ravnica the following week. So that is these are all tentative plans, but I just want to give you guys a heads up as what's going on in the channel. Uh, obviously, we can't really account for acts of uh, whatever, uh, natural disaster kind of things. So we'll do the best we can uh, to keep everything up to date. I do. I did go ahead and pre-record all the cracker packs, uh, so those will be there, no problem. Uh, and again, if you're unaware, we did switch the schedule on those Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, so it's not Wednesday anymore. Uh, it covers us all, all the days of the week, basically. Um, but yeah, also on the cracker packs... Next week, we are releasing a 6th edition Crack-A-Pack. Uh, I believe it's next week. You should really watch the 6th edition Crack-A-Pack. I think it's going to be going up on Tuesday, I want to say. Uh, and it is really good. Uh, oh my gosh, is it good. I've very rarely... Uh, with these Crack-A-Packs, they're fun. I love opening stuff like that, uh, especially older sets. Obviously, newer sets are fun too, but the older sets are much more nostalgic and... Obviously, there's some, generally speaking, there's some higher value stuff in it. So it's exciting to go back and open all those. Very, very rarely is it ever actually financially worth it. Uh, I have a budget, ooh, sorry, I have a budget uh, every month that I put in for this. And like, very rarely do I ever make my money back. That's all I'm going to say. But um, it's fun. It's really, really fun. 
and occasionally you do get your value back out of however much you paid for the pack. Uh, sixth edition next week. It's a good one. You should watch it. There's a lot of really cool stuff in that. Uh, but yeah, so if you're not already watching the Cracker Pack series, you definitely should be. It's fun. Uh, we're on pack 170 something. Uh, we've opened a ton uh, and we continue to do that. It's just fun for me to do anyway, so might as well make videos out of it. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying those. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to talk about. Uh, we're editing the D&D video actually right now. Uh, I don't have a date for that to actually be up. If I can get it up soon, I will. Uh, so just a heads up, but it does take a little bit of time just because it's a longer video, obviously, uh, and multiple camera angles and stuff. So that's basically it. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic week. If you are on the East Coast, please be safe with the hurricane coming, uh, batten down the hatches, evacuate if you're on the coast, by all means, uh, get somewhere safe, get with family, get with friends, whatever you need to do. Uh, we will be doing the same, but yeah, so I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thanks for watching this week's Weekly Ramble. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below, as always. And of course, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our content. But with that, I'm out, guys. I'll see you in the next one.